What's up guys, Over the Gamer now, welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. So, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use creative, a couple of tips and how to get random chests every single time in any of your maps. If you're building hunt games and things like that where you need to rely on random chests for it to be uh, much better and more entertaining rather than you're just choosing the chests and then people know where the guns are, where the best guns are and stuff like that. Uh, so this took me a while to actually learn and I will get through it uh, to it in a second But we're gonna go through a few other tips before so if you are building a big map that you do know That's gonna take up all the hundred thousand memory space It's annoying that there's a memory space, but understandable because I believe that they're all like shared servers So it's just gonna lag everyone if you're building these crazy things and plus it's gonna lag you as well um, So anyway, make sure you go around the map deleting all the trees and things like that that are scattered around and the buildings and the rocks and stuff because they do take up a lot of memory as you can see i'm on the arctic island and it's already taken up nearly 10,000 of the space so make sure you go around and deleting all the items that you can delete just so you've got the extra space um another little thing that you need to know when you are playing as well uh when you're using these items so like say uh you want to throw down let's see um, trees I'll throw some down here uh, if you want to throw down trees make sure you go up to one tree so if you want to use this tree all the time make sure you will go up to that tree copy and place it there then delete these ones do not use them again because you, as you can see I've just gone from 8,000 to 30,000 that's like 22,000 um, space it's taken just for these trees so make sure you delete these trees and only use the copied tree that you used because when you're using copied items as you can see it only uses a bit of memory each copied tree you used instead of going back and getting the same tree every single time from uh, the standard one that you placed down uh, so yeah bear that in mind guys make sure you're copying trees instead of uh, going back and getting the original tree and then placing that again uh, that that's the same with all items so if you're using uh, one of these rocks make sure you place it down and then use that copied one instead of using the same one that you get from there that's a big tip and if you do that you'll have a lot more memory at the end rather than um, using the same one from the start so yeah that's just a little tip from what I've learned from building these big maps a um, couple of other things uh, let me think probably like these items that you have to move around uh, like these you can pick them up and move them around uh, like that and then you move them around you can press buttons like that um, make sure you bring them because they go through the floor sometimes when you're building so make sure you uh, level them correctly uh, otherwise they will look rubbish on your maps if you want to try and make them as realistic as possible um, so yeah that's that especially with these as well because when you go when you're putting them up against a wall they go through the wall it's really annoying so when you're actually holding these uh, if you want to make it better so you move it around like me press left on the d-pad as you can see when originally it, at default you are moving it like this and it's really annoying because you can't place it against any walls make sure you turn it off also when you're placing it above as you can see it falls so make sure you press y as well and then you can have it floating just like that that is a big massive thing that many people don't know and it's really annoying when you uh, when you try to build something and you see that fall is on and they just end up dropping just like that it's uh, quite annoying and uh, yeah um, to pick things back up you aim and to pick, uh, copy it you press shoot just so you know anyway moving on to the next couple of tips so when you're going on here as you can see uh, they do add in things regularly, so um, you don't get this gunner guy in online or in playground mode So what he does is when you place him, so I'll just place him there What he does when you place him, when you start the game, he will spawn and start shooting at you So he's really good for like target practice or any challenge maps you build um, You've also got uh, through this random method, uh, chest method you can also get, I believe, vaulted items and guns that you can't get in um, on the weapon screen here. Uh, you also get presents now as well, which is quite cool. 
and you can also create your own chests and llamas which is cool anyway moving on to the settings of the game if you want to share your map make sure you set the game modes and the game settings before sharing the map because that will um, be what is shared i've made this mistake mistake actually and uh, leaving it like this because what i thought was when people share it the other people in their game could set the time limit and what game mode they wanted to play and then start their own game but it's not like that you have to set it and then share it also make a backup of your map guys always always do that because if you're making these big maps that are highly detailed and something happens with the server or anything like that it might just disappear and that will be a lot of work gone anyway that is all those tips if there's any more that i've missed make sure you let me know down in the comments anything's anything that you want me to do or talk about in another video make sure you let me know down in the comments and uh, moving on to how to get random chests so this is really simple and really easy uh, i don't know if they added this on purpose but i don't think they did you can also get ammo boxes through this method as well and uh, it's just this you throw down this chinese temple here the lucky tower and um, go up to the top there's also one in the bottom and as you can see there there's a random chest all you do from there is copy it, place it down somewhere on your map so you can go back and copy it again if you want. And then there you go, you get a chest. There's one there as well and I believe there's ammo boxes somewhere in here. Either you can get them in another one if you really want to. So yeah, instead of them taking out a the chest, they copied the whole building and allowed us to have random chests. So yeah, that is random now. Watch uh, when I open it. If I can, I'm not sure if I can. Yep, I can. Um, I'll just get random items out of that now and ammo which is quite awesome and you'll also get um, random stuff out of these as well so yeah that's how you get random chests uh, there's your questions answered guys and uh, yeah pretty cool uh, thing that they've added pretty awesome and they did mention that they're not adding in random chests yet but they've done it by accident and they've not taken it out yet so make sure you use this on your maps anyway guys I do hope you enjoyed today's video Make sure you leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more because I'm going to be doing time lapse builds, big builds, doing more builds from Vicstar, and hopefully doing a lot more bigger stuff in the future. Um, so, yeah, like, subscribe, click that bell, and I'll see you all in the next one.